Finally, as promised, tonight's campaign comment and Rashid Khalidi. And it is one, one thing, one stupid cataclysmic thing to try to slime your opponent because of his relationship with some guy, only to then find out that your own candidate has a stronger relationship still with that guy. But this graduates to the level of fatal political malpractice, when the ultimate result of your effort to slime your opponent is to, in fact, draw a parallel between your candidate and William Ayers. The huffing, puffing, panicky McCain noise machine has really done it this time. John McCain and William Ayers both gave money to this man, Rashid Khalidi. Senator McCain, you may want to get a pad and pencil here and write all of this down. I'm actually going to agree with William Crystal when he wrote in the New York Times that you should fire your entire campaign staff. In three short steps, while trying to link Senator Obama to Rashid Khalidi, they have instead linked you to Rashid Khalidi and to Bill Ayers. Watch, Senator. Step one, get the running mate who thinks she's smarter than everybody else to throw out the first pitch. It seems that there was yet another radical professor from the neighborhood who spent a lot of time with Barack Obama going back several years. This is important because this associate, Rashid Kaladi, he, in addition to being a political ally of Barack Obama, he's a former spokesperson for the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Now, Senator, if you're seeing that clip for the first time, take a minute to clean up whatever you were drinking and whatever you hit with your spit take. As you remember, Senator McCain, Rashid Khalidi is also the guy you gave $448,873 to 10 years ago when you were the chairman of the International Republican Institute and Khalidi wanted grant money to spend in the West Bank for his Center for Palestine Research and Studies. As you know, Senator, $448,000 goes a lot further than friendship. You gotta tell Governor Palin stuff like this, Senator. Unless, of course, she already knew when she said it anyway, which means that those stories about how she's stabbing you in the back are just scratching the mavericky surface. But to continue this long, dismal tide of self-destruction, Senator McCain, that was step one. Step two, get the drumbeat really rolling, rolling with the most overrated strategist in the history of American politics, Karl Rove, on the echo chamber of choice, fixed noise. What bothers me about this is where was the McCain opposition research when this article came out last April that talked about uh, Obama's presence at the dinner for Khalidi and mentioned in the story the tape. This would be a lot better if this drumbeat had been started last spring. Senator, Senator, put the bottle down, Senator. You may know all too well, and I may just be guessing that Rashid Khalidi had to have come up last spring, but what used to be the cooler heads in your campaign said, Ixnay on the Elidi K because your campaign had to have known that you mainlined directly back to him, and not just the $448,000 grant in 1998, but another series of other grants from your group to Khalidi's group in 1993. You'd know how much those were for. We haven't found out yet. But the smart folks are all gone now. All you got left are Sarah Palin and Karl Rove and Rudy Giuliani. Steps one and two having been completed, he was step three. I know, let's ask Rudy. He'll try anything. Honestly, Senator, I know you like this man, but frankly, if he's talking about anything west of Hoboken, New Jersey, or anything more complicated than how to speed cross town traffic, he's lost. The problem is when Rudy Giuliani starts talking Rashid Khalidi, not only is Rudy going down, but he's taking you with him. What I do know is that um, Khalidi has made very incendiary remarks about uh, Israel, uh, about Israel being racist. He has a connection with uh, the PLO. He worked for an organization called WAFA, w, I think it's W-A-F-A. -A. He was their spokesman. I believe Khalidi's wife was the translator for that organization, which was affiliated with the PLO. And uh, he has been, I think you could, I don't think there'd be any dispute about the fact that he has a very hostile view to the state of, uh, to the state of Israel. And uh, he was, he was uh, given a party, I guess it was sometime in the early uh, 2000s, and Senator Obama appeared at that party and said laudatory things about him. Also, uh, Senator Obama and heirs sitting on the Woods board gave something like seventy or $80,000 to Khalidi's organizations. Senator, 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 morals aside, this is the classic problem of guilt by association. Obama and heirs gave Khalidi's organizations $80,000. McCain gave Khalidi's organizations $448,000. Obama and heirs, Obama and heirs, Obama and heirs, and McCain. Obama and heirs and McCain. Heirs and McCain. Heirs and McCain? So now not only is Rashid Khalidi your problem and not Obama's, but now you're connected to Bill Ayers. The only difference is who gave this nebulously nefarious guy with the Arabic name more money, you or Ayers.
Well, golly, Senator, that'd be you by a figure of at least five to one, which is also the ratio of your campaign sleaze bombs that blow up in your own face. Retire them, Senator, and also this clown college you've got before they, quote, advise you, unquote, into trying to link Obama to the Keating Five or something. Because if you lose on Tuesday, Senator, you're going to have a long time to think about not only why you sold your soul, but why you sold it to these chowder heads. And if you win on Tuesday, you're going to go into office with more blowback sleaze on you than any president in our history. And the White House is no place for a brain trust consisting of very few brains and nobody worth trusting. Hey, I got an idea, Senator. Maybe you should turn to a guy who evidently thinks like you do, at least on funding Palestinian think tanks. Maybe you could get some late help from William Ayers. That's countdown for this, the 2010th day since the declaration of mission accomplished in Iraq. I'm Keith Olbermann. Good night and good luck.